The diagram below shows the element hydrogen, which has three isotopes. Do you remember what isotopes are? If not, go check it out. I do talk about isotopes um, in, 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 some of our in some of the videos. But pretty much what we've learned is that, let me get a periodic table quickly, is that atoms have, uh, well, yeah, atoms contain electrons, neutrons, protons. And by looking at this number and this number, we can get a, very, we can get a perfect idea of how many of each one it has. What I've told you guys in previous videos is that these numbers here tells you the number of protons. Okay, that's the number of protons. Now, if it is a neutral atom, meaning it's not positive or negative, it's just neutral, then that is also the number of, so if neutral, then that is also the number of electrons, let's say here, then also the number of electrons. Most times it is going to be like that. It's going to be a neutral atom where it's not going to have a charge, positive or negative. Okay. Then by the looking at this number at the bottom, that is the mass of the molecule. So that's your mass. Mass. So we know that mass of a atom is the number of um, neutrons plus protons. Why not electrons? Well, we've learned that electrons do not have any mass. I mean, they do, but it is so tiny that we assume they are, they don't have any mass. Okay. So if I know, for example, that this one over here has 11 protons, then if I say 23 minus 11, that'll give me 12. And that'll have to be the neutrons. So it's got 11 protons and 12 neutrons so that the total mass is 23, right? That's what we've learned up till now. Okay, so now with that, we can go and begin this question and uh, start talking about isotopes. Because the very first question asks us to define the term isotopes. Let's quickly talk about isotopes. I could give you Na2311, and I could give you Na2411. So what is the difference between these two? Yes, we can see the mass is different, but what does that mean? Well, if we look at the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons, Let's see what the real difference is. Let's go there and there. Okay, so, whoops, let's do that. So, if we look at the protons, they both have 11, 11 and 11. If we look at the electrons, that will also be 11 and 11, assuming that this is a neutral um, atom without any positive or negative charge. Then the amount of neutrons for this one would have to be 12, but in this one it would be 13, because 13 plus 11 gives us 24, which is what they said. And then this one is 12 plus 11, which gives us 23, which is what they have. So this, or these two things are isotopes. So therefore, isotopes, are the same element, it's the same element, sodium and sodium, but with different numbers of neutrons. So if we had to go and give a de definition, we would say that it is atoms of the same element with the same proton number, but different amount of neutrons. So the protons have to be the same. Sometimes in a test, they'll do something like this. They'll go x11, x12, 22, 22, or 23, 23. And x is just a random thing. And they'll say, are these protons? And a lot of learners will say yes. But 
If this is 11 and that's 12, that means the protons are not the same. But isotopes have to have the same proton number. Okay, so don't let that confuse you. All right, so that's the first question. Now this one says, the table below shows three isotopes. The number of particles, which is incomplete, and the relative abundance of each isotope. This question says, complete the table by writing only 4.2.1 and the correct number of particles. Okay, so 4.2.1. Okay, so let's have a look. If we look at this first one, number of protons, well, okay, well, let's first look at this. Number of protons, so we're looking at proteum first. Okay, proteum first, because here we have proteum, deuterium, tritium. So how many electrons does it have? Well, we can see here, it's got one electron, one proton. So we can just say here, one. Then how many neutrons does it have? Well, if you look here, it's got zero. You can see it's got no neutrons. So you could just say, you could even work it out if they didn't even give you these pictures, because the total mass is one, and it already has one proton, so it can't have any neutrons. Then this question, um, deuterium. So what is its mass number? Well, the mass number is the protons plus the neutrons. So that's one plus one, which is two. And then this one says, what is the number of protons of this one? Well, it would also have to be one. We can even see it says here one, but if these are one, then this one also has to be one because isotopes have the same proton number. So there we go, one, zero, two, and one. Now this one for three marks, use the table above and calculate the relative atomic mass of hydrogen. Okay, so I have showed you guys how this works before. Remember I've showed you how to calculate when they give you the percentages and all of that. If not, you need to go check that video out. So pretty much what we do is you just take the percentage of this one, so 99.985, multiplied by its mass plus this one's percentage, 0 0.015, multiplied by its mass, which was two, plus, and then this one is just zero because they said that it's negligible, okay? And then you divide all of that by 100. As I said, I have showed this before um, in a previous video on how to calculate relative abundances and all of that. Now. If we go calculate this, you end up with an answer of 1.00015, and then mass is always measured in grams in chemistry. Okay, so go check out that video if you haven't watched it, where I do explain this.